since as long as we've had cartoons, but the power of computers is making animation more realistic with each passing movie. This is Dr. Aki Ross. She may look like a familiar actress, but actually she's a new face in Hollywood. Very new. Everything about Aki Ross's appearance is a computer creation. She's all digits in a database. How much more time? The movie Final Fantasy is the best example of animation created to please viewers hungry for artificial reality. They're going to want depth, dimension. Uh, they want to feel like they're entering into that world. Synthetic actors have literally filled the screen in recent years. Passengers on the Titanic, a cast of thousands in the Colosseum, digital fiction. Now animators are moving in for a close-up on photorealistic faces. They start with the shell of a head, then add skin and hair. Full bodies start with a stick figure. Animators layer in muscle, skin, and clothing. That leather coat moves like leather. Someone hasn't been born that way. You're actually fabricating a face, a, a persona. In the case of Aki Ross, her 60,000 digital strands of hair took 20% of production time. The computer has to actually calculate every strand and, and render it or draw it, so to speak, in three-dimensional space. Her hair moves naturally. She's so close to real, she's been featured in magazines, and she might be cast in another movie. The day of the digital character is definitely upon us. It's still not perfect. Facial expressions are hard to do, and eyes. So much of a performance is in the eyes. Even some people in special effects say actors will always be better. I love actors. They're funny. They're, they're charming. They're, they're ingenious. They're warm. They're real. Real actors are irreplaceable, but they will have to share the screen with digital stars.